Do you have a jacuzzi hot tub with FL1 air code? If you have the FL1 air code on your jacuzzi hot tub, follow these simple steps. Step one, remove your hot tub filters. Clogged or dirty hot tub filters can create that FL1 air code, so removing them might remove the FL1 air code. After you took the filters out, turn the breaker off, wait 15 minutes, then turn it back on, and see if the FL1 air code goes away. If the FL1 air code is still there, follow the next steps. Step two, take the side panel off where the keypad is. Normally that's where your spa pack is. What you want to do next is you want to locate the pump that's pushing the water through the heat tube and see if it's on and if you can hear it. And make sure the water's coming out of the jets or if you have a circ pump, make sure that it's not just an airlock. These pumps are normally behind the spa pack. If your pump's not running, test the fuses. I'll put a link above how to test your hot tub fuses. If your hot tub pump or your circ pump is working fine, follow the next step. Step three, unplug your flow switch. Turn your breaker off, locate your flow switch and unplug it. If you're unsure where it is, it should be printed on the circuit board. Grab yourself a slotted screwdriver. In between the two pins and the white plastic piece, you wanna put the screwdriver there, jump on those two pins. Hold the slotted screwdriver exactly the way the picture shows and get somebody else to turn the power on and then take a look at the top side. If the FL1 error code goes away, change the flow switch. If it stays on, it's gonna be a board issue. Step four, replacing the flow switch. Locate your flow switch and then start taking the clips off. For this jacuzzi hot tub, I had to tarp it and put a heater underneath it because it was way too cold outside. Just a little easier to work on stuff when it's warmer. Just using a heat gun to soften up the pipe a bit. It's a little easier when you take it off and it's, uh, it's like I said, it's really cold out. So I have to heat up everything so it's easy to, it's a little softer. Make sure that the new one goes in the same way. Uh, it's just the arrow direction. You shouldn't have a problem if you just know where the arrow is. I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit more just because when I put the clamps on, I want, I want it a little bit soft so it seals it better so I don't have to put glue on it.
That's how you replace a Jacuzzi or Sundance flow switch. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.